Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this little girl's poncho here. Um, as it sets, it, I think it would fit uh, approximately size 2 to 5. But even with the chain that I made, I think you could go up to like 6 and 7. You would just need to add, uh, ages 6 and 7, you just need to add more length to it. Adjust. You can adjust the length easy, easily for whatever size you want. But I will also tell you in the video how to adjust a chain if you want to make it for an adult size. So it's pretty easy to make as long as you know how to do uh, front post double crochets. You see the post stitches here. The rest is mainly double crochet. So there's doubles and front posts. As long as you can do those, you'll probably be able to do this poncho. And the button is optional. I just sewed that on there for decoration. My daughter wanted it on there. Um, but it came from Hobby Lobby. And it's a one and a half inch button. Of course, that's optional. Um, and you can put fringe on it if you want. That's up to you. But let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I used Lion Brand Mandala Tweed. It is a medium four weight, 100% acrylic yarn. Now, you do not have to use this yarn. Any medium four weight yarn will work. There's 568 yards per cake. Now for my size, I didn't go through the whole cake. I went through quite a bit of it though. Um, you're probably gonna need, for my size, probably about 450 yards. But if you wanna make it longer or add fringe, you know, of course you're gonna need more than that. Um, but the color that I use is called seven. Of course you can use any color that you choose. And then I'm going to be using a size, uh, size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Okay, following my size, you want to start out with a chain of 60. But like I said, you can make it bigger and you can even make it for an adult. All you need to do is you need to start with a chain that has odd numbers, equal odd numbers between the points. So I started, it has, it has two points. The poncho has two points, a front and a back. So I started with a chain of 60. So what I'm going to do is follow the chain down without twisting it and I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Like that. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into the same spot that I just slip stitched into and single crochet. And now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain all the way around the entire ring just like this so one single in every stitch until you get back to your starting point All right, once you make it back to your starting point, you wanna go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet. And that'll end round one and you'll have a total of 60 stitches. Now we're gonna start round two by chaining one. And we're gonna make the first point of the poncho and we're gonna do that right here into the same stitch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put two double crochets There's one, two, and then we're going to chain two, and then we're going to put two more double crochets. That's always how you do the points of the poncho. So there's your first point. So now I'm going to put one double crochet into the next 29 stitches. So I'm going to start off. And I'm going to work 29 double crochets in a row. So that's one. We don't count the point stitches. We start here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, I've done my 29 double crochets in a row. And now I'm going to put the second point of my poncho into the next stitch. So I'm going to go into the next stitch and I'm going to work two double crochets. Chain one. 
chain two, and two more double crochets, all into the same stitch. And now we have our second point made. And now you should have 29 stitches that remain. You want to go ahead and put one double crochet in the remaining 29 stitches. So in the, in the beginning, I said you could make it bigger. You just needed to have an odd number of stitches between the points. So this one, I have 29 stitches on this side and 29 on this side. And then I one or two points, one in the front and one in the back. So that totaled, that took care of my 60 chains that I made in the beginning. So if you want to make yours bigger, just make your chain bigger, but make sure between the points you have an equal number of odd stitches, minus 29 on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and finish out round two by putting one stitch, one double crochet in each of the remaining 29 stitches here that I have. All right, I've made it to the end of round two. And you want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet here of your first point. That'll end round two, and now you'll have a total of 66 stitches. So now we're going to start the repeat rows of the ponchos. Rows three, four, and five are the repeat rows. So we just finished row two. Now we're going to start with three, round three. We're going to slip stitch two times till we get to our first chain two space. Like that. We're going to chain one, and we're going to go right back into the chain space, and we're going to work two double crochets. Chain of two, and two more double crochets. Now we're going to start off by working a front post double crochet into the very next stitch. So go around the stitch like that, around the post of it, and work front post double. And then I'm going to work a regular double into the top of the next stitch. And then a front post double around the post of the next stitch. And then a regular double into the top of the next. And that's what I'm going to repeat until I get to my next point. Front post double crochet into the next. And then regular double crochet into the top of the next. Front post double. And regular double. Front post. And regular. Just like that. Keep repeating that until you get to your next chain two space. All right, I'm coming to my chain two space. And you'll always, it'll always be a front post double crochet into the last stitch before the chain two space. And then in the chain two space, we work two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets, just like that. And now we're going to start on this side. We want to do the same thing on this side that we did over here. Since we ended in a front post double crochet, we want to start in a front post double crochet right here. So front post double crochet. And then just a regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch. Front post double. And then a regular double. Front post double. And then a regular double. And we're going to repeat this until we get to the end of the round. Okay, when you're coming to the end here, Here's where we slip stitched. It's kind of hard to see your stitches, but there's two stitches there. So make sure you go. One of them will be a regular double crochet. And then the last one will be a front post double crochet. And then you want to end around three by slip stitching into your first double crochet. 
and now you'll have a total of 74 stitches. So from now on, we're gonna have eight more stitches every row than we did the previous row. So we had 66 last time, now we're gonna have 74. So now we're gonna start round four, which is the chain space row. We're going to slip stitch two times until we get to our chain two space. And then we're gonna go ahead and work our point here. We're gonna chain one, and in the chain two space, we're gonna work two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Now we're gonna start off by putting a double crochet into this very first stitch. Then we're gonna chain one, skip one stitch, so skip this one and double crochet into the next. And then we're gonna chain one, skip one stitch and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one and double into the next. And this is what we're gonna repeat until we get to our next point. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. Chain one, skip one, and double into the next. So I'm gonna keep repeating this pattern all the way until I get to my next chain two space. Just like that. All right, I've made it to my next chain two space. Your last stitch should have had a double crochet in it. Now do not chain after that one. Just go right ahead into the space and work your point. Two double crochets. Chain two and two more double crochets. Like that. And now we're gonna do the same thing on this side that we just did over here. So we're gonna start by putting a double crochet into the very first stitch. And then we will chain one, skip one, and double into the next. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. And that's what we're gonna repeat until we get to the end of the round. Chain one, skip one, double into the next. Chain one, skip one, and double into the next. And go ahead and repeat this until you get to the end of the round. All right, I've made it to the end of round four. Your last stitch should have been a double crochet. Don't chain one or anything. Go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet. Now you should have eight more stitches than you did the row before, but you want to count each of these chain one spaces as a stitch two. So counting every double crochet and every chain one space, not the chain two spaces of the point, but every double crochet and every chain one space, you'll have 82 stitches. So now we're gonna start round five, which is the last repeat round. We're gonna slip stitch two times to our first chain two space. Chain one, and in the chain two space, we are going to work two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Now we're gonna work one double crochet in every stitch and in every chain one space. So go ahead and make sure you get this very first stitch, double crochet, and then double crochet in every stitch. And then in the chain one space, double crochet right through the space. And in the next the in the next stitch here, double crochet. In the next chain one space, double crochet. And that's what we're gonna do until we get to our next chain two space. One double into every stitch, into every chain one 
and to every chain one space. Just like that. All right, I made it to my next chain two space. So I'm gonna go right into it and I'm gonna work two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. And now I'm gonna continue putting one double crochet in every stitch and one double crochet in every chain one space until I get to the end of the round. Just like I did on the other side. All right, I've made it to the end of round five. And you wanna go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet. And now you should have eight more stitches than you did the previous round, so you'll have a total of 90 stitches. So that's it now. It's just a repeat of rows or rounds three, four, and five. So for round six, I'm just gonna repeat what I did on round three by slip stitching two times in my first chain two space. I chain one and I work my point into the chain two space. So two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. And then this is the front post double crochet. So front post in the front post double crochet into the next stitch. And then just do a regular double crochet into the next. Front post into the next. and then a regular into the next. So I'm just gonna keep repeating those rounds, three, four, and five, until I get my poncho the length that I want it to be. All right, I went ahead and did a total of 19 rows, and that is including that very first row of single crochet, single crochet that we did, I did 19. So I ended on a row of chain spaces. Now, of course, if you're making it for a bigger child or for an adult, you make it as long as you want. And if you don't want to end on the chain space row, it really doesn't matter what row that you end on. That's up to you. I just wanted to chain, I just left it to be on the chain space row to be a little bit decorative, but um, that's just my preference. But really, any row you want to end on is fine. But now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go around the top with some single crochet. So I'm going to start in the back here. Work facing like this. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do a sing one single crochet in every stitch around the top. So you can just start anywhere along the back here. And go ahead and pull your yarn through. Chain one. Go back into that same spot and single crochet. And now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch all around the collar. Just to clean it up and give it a nice clean edge. Just like that. So one single crochet all the way around the front and back around to where you started. All right, when you make it back to your starting point, you should have 60 stitches because that's what you started with. But as long as you have somewhere close to that, that's fine. Doesn't have to be exact. Now we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first single crochet. And then we're going to tie that off and hide that tail. around here so this is what it's starting to look like minus some tails I gotta, gotta hide still okay the last thing I did was sew that button on there of course you don't have to do that if you want to add some ties pom-poms fringe whatever you want to do it's up to you but that's it that's all there is to it I hope you enjoyed my tutorial 
please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed and don't forget to give this a share maybe check me out on facebook and instagram that'd be awesome see what else see what i'm up to on those uh pages and i'm gonna put uh over there on the right hand side of the screen a list of all my ponchos uh, adult and child size so you can check them out maybe you'll find something else that you want to make so also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and until next time have a good day